This is Ozark's Fox AM. Welcome back to the second hour of Ozark's Fox AM. I'm Kelly Smith. And I'm Jeremy Rabe. You are. <laughs> I was trying to do my, my radio Delilah voice. <laughs> you know Delilah? We met her. Delilah. Delilah. I was trying to be like, oh, she's such a and nice I'm lady. Jeremy Ray. Yes. Oh, she does have a She has a beautiful, voice. soothing voice. She does. You know Maybe me. that's why she's yeah. on the radio. Because she's like, I'm Delilah. I know. She's got like lots of children. Let's redo that and make it very Delilah. Okay, ready? Start the opening of the second half again. Ready? Okay. okay. Welcome to the second half of Ozark's Fox AM. I'm Kelly Smith. And I'm Jeremy Ray. Thanks for tuning in this morning. We're gonna play some of your light rock favorite hits <laughs> here on Ozark's Fox AM. Well, yeah, we do play a lot of good music. That sounded, we really, do. That sounded really good. <laughs> that was my soothing radio voice. Can you talk in that soothing voice all the time? I think I could. I don't know if the viewers would You know would what? Like it's it. really hard for me to be airy. That's why it was really tough for me to be Olivia Newton-John, but that's in the high range, because my <coughs> voice is not airy. It's more, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's more I also felt we were, we were a cross between Delilah and Martha Stewart. <laughs> well, that's true. It's that a good thing. It's a good thing. I made a triple berry cheesecake salad that's going to be horrible. No, it's not! Now listen, when you say it's going to be horrible and you tell you're going to call it a Kelly Smith, that oh, kind of offends no, me. I just no, have to say. That's not the offensive part. It's not having made it before the show. That's the Kelly Smith. Oh, that's the Kelly Smith. Yeah, because you always, sometimes I you'll make stuff. I never make it before yeah. the show. Well, yeah. But I'm saying I make it like seven, 17 versions of it before I actually make it on the show and I, I tasted know. it. So that's the Kelly Hear Smith. Me. It's going to be delicious. But I, I, even I'm if it's so, not. You know what? I'm so excited. You're coloring outside the box a little bit. That really thrills me, I'll be honest. It will never happen again. <laughs> just right, hey, just real remember. Quick, I just want to tell you what happened last night. Real quick. Oh, I yes. Oh, I forgot. Talking, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about sleep and lack of. So Blue, our dog, was barking, 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 crazy. So there's an armadillo trying to get a <gasps> burrowing into the fence. Yeah. That's what we found out it was because uh, it's been two nights in a row. So um, that can happen, too. Your dogs are licking your face. You can't sleep. But um. Mm. Yeah, sometimes it's a problem. These armadillos, uh, they've moved way south. You know what's random? What? This morning on the way to work, two streets over that I have to take, dead it? armadillo ah. on the sh in the street. There's a dead mm -hmm. armadillo. Yeah. Or maybe it's a possum. I should just tell him that armadillo, he does not want to be in our backyard. That would not be a good fate for him. I'm just saying. Well, no. Blue would attack him, wouldn't he? Oh, heck yeah. Yes, he would. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, now you're getting a middle picture of that. And All right, but there's more important things to discuss. There are. Like, we've got some weather coming. Elisa, what's happening in the weather? Yeah, good morning. We've been very busy uh, already today. It's 69 degrees in Springfield. We've got thick clouds, steady south winds, and dew points in the middle 60s. So that's pretty sticky, especially when they're so close to that temperature. And we'll keep things pretty muggy through the day today, and that's going to fuel strong and severe storms. Mostly quiet right now. We've just got some clouds. Some showers and thunderstorms are starting to make it to the I-49 corridor from Clinton back towards Nevada. We'll have some locally heavy rain and lightning with this round, maybe one or two storms with wind and hail. Uh, we've got temperatures, again, very warm in the 60s. It's 68 in West Plains, 65 in Monette this morning. 70s by dismissal with rounds of showers and thunderstorms, 76 degrees there. Here's our severe threat. We've got an enhanced risk for severe weather that noses up into Springfield, comes back down to Branson and into uh, northwest Arkansas. We're looking at threats for Golf ball size hail, 70 mile per hour winds, widespread flooding, and a few tornadoes. Uh, we'll have to keep an eye out for that. The timing of this, again, maybe an isolated, stronger, severe storm this morning, and then that threat will really ramp up by later on this afternoon and evening. After about 2 3 o'clock, we'll start to develop a squall line, and that will push that damaging wind and tornado threat through the Ozark. So, a couple of showers and storms early. Then here comes that uh, line of strong and severe storms setting up. Along that line is where we get the push of 70 mile per hour winds, embedded tornadoes, uh, two to three inches of rain in an hour possible, so some very heavy rain and lightning. The line continues to push south and east through the overnight, a couple of storms tomorrow morning, and then we could have a round two of severe weather by tomorrow afternoon. Rain could be pretty hefty, again, about three inches. About three inches of rain, uh, some totals up to about four. Flash flood watch is in effect through Thursday morning there because of the heavy rain threat. We'll continue with a severe threat through tomorrow with that slight risk for severe weather. By Thursday, everything tries to start to shift to the south and east, but we might have an isolated storm as it exits. So chances of showers and storms through Friday. Jeremy Kelly. 
I Sorry, no, no, better no, news. no, no, That's on. a mouthful, yeah. Lisa. I don't know how you get all that information out because there's so much to talk about. I, literally, I could go on for an hour. Do you want me to finish those arcs, Fox? <laughs> wow. Um, the whole second hour is weather. Yes. Yeah, because there is a lot going on today that, you know, with the multiple hazards, right, with this threat. Um, but the bottom line is just to stay weather aware, right? It's not to, nobody, we're not trying to scare anybody. We're not trying to overhype anything. We just mm -hmm. want everybody to be aware and then uh, know how to get warnings when they are issued later on today. And thanks yeah. to Lisa Raffa, yeah. we did, remember the other day we wore the hard hats and took pictures in our tornado <laughs> safety yes. areas? Yes. And <laughs> thanks to Lisa, I know where they are in our building. And right. I know where to go now in my home, because yes. I asked her, because my right. bathrooms have windows, so I can't go in the right. bathrooms. That was a good little lesson. Yes. Yeah, it Interior was. rooms, no windows. Closets, yeah. if your bathroom has windows, which is weird. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she thinks it's weird. <laughs> I don't have a window in my bathroom either. Really? No. Re no. I okay, Closet. Alisa. My guest bathroom has two windows. The master has one, and it's a beautiful view. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Oh <laughs> Thanks, Alisa. She rocks. <laughs> yeah, she does. She's great. <laughs> yes. All right. Coming up, Kaylee has our entertainment news, and we'll be trying my triple berry cheesecake that I put in the freezer to make hopefully get it For cold enough. Yeah. Okay. We'll be right back. Hopefully, it's good. It's gonna be great. <gasps>